It's Saturday night. That's right. Yeah. So, it's been an interesting day because Bugger Lugs here has not been very well. Bugger Lugs. It's weird. I'm just getting some body aches. Um, I started getting them yesterday, um, which is really weird for me to get, but I'm listening to my body and I'm slowing down a little bit, which has been nice. Slowing down? I actually took two, a nap today. Two hour nap this afternoon Great. while one of us was working. <laughs> Uh, but no, it's cool. We just thought it's been an easy day, um, but again, like amazing food. The workout this morning, even though she wasn't well, I'll give it to her because we did a 35 minute strength workout with lots of weights and she killed it. I was watching it, I kept looking at you during the workout and you were like in the moment and you did not stop. So I gotta give you that. Thank you. Sweating definitely helps me. Anytime I'm not feeling that well, um, and it's not like a head cold all over my head, like I will go for it and I feel so much better. And I felt good. Yeah, and after that we got out because if you stayed in, you knew you'd collapse on the yeah. sofa. So we went out and had some good food and just Ooh. chilled out. Coffee shop. And we just thought it'd be good. Um, Alex did a post this morning about quotes, and you see all the time. I, mean, I don't tend to post quotes. Alex does occasionally. I like quotes. Um, but everyone does. I mean, like quotes, you see a twenty a day yeah. on your feed, and, and I think there's almost quote overload to a degree because. You see so many, how many actually make you do something different? And we talked about this. We thought, what quotes in our life have actually made us stop and, and change and think? And you saw one today which actually resonated with you. Yeah, and it's not so much of me stopping and changing and thinking my behaviors. It's actually, for me, it was, I saw it and I was actually living it. A lot of time quotes are motivation. They're something to push us to make some kind of change. This one was one that I saw it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my reality. How cool is it that a quote is my reality. And um, the quote was, by doing what you love, you inspire and awaken the hearts of others. And it's so true, being a Beachbody coach, I get messages multiple times a day, somebody reaching out saying, thank you so much for your inspiration, you're so inspiring because of you, I've made this kind of change. And doing this, and I love doing it, and I think that's, it, it shows, obviously, because it is inspiring other people and awakening their hearts. So I just thought that was really cool and it made me think, you know, have you ever saw a quote that you were actually living? Was it an actual reality? And if you haven't, you know, keep searching um, or change so that you are living this reality that you, you want to be living. Perfect. <laughs> no, you're right though. I think um, that really, that's what sparked it. And Alex asked me what my quote is and mine is by John Lennon. I'm not trying to sound cliche, but it is. I mean, obviously I'm it's from my hometown. Um, but I mean, the quote from John Lennon, there's loads of good quotes, but the one is, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. And the reason that resonates with me is, I spent so many hours, weeks, months, years of my life planning another game, like planning the future. So it could be like, I was always, I was never thinking about today. I was always on a search for something, like an end game, or I'll be happy when I have this, and on top of that, every day, I mean, people used to joke about it at work, but my to-do list and my, I couldn't function unless I had this piece of paper with all these little boxes on it. And I'm not knocking that because you should do to-do lists and do plans, but my problem was I would do it every morning and then never do anything on it and get involved in other stuff and get distracted and do different things. And then they look at the end of the day and they're pretty much not ticked off anything. So to do this is only good if you're actually going to nail it. When I was younger, when I was studying in, in college and stuff, I was pretty good at it. If I made a list, I would nail it in a day. And then just with work and everything, just responsibilities and life getting in the way, my to-do list never got done. And I realized that I was pretty inactive. And I, you know, right now is I, I still do lists of a certain type, but nothing like the planning. And I learned from Alex as well that just do stuff. Rather than sitting planning all day, um, do something like make some action and you know do some things now because momentum starts you talked about that yesterday and you'll see things and I do believe the quotes in that you're missing out on life when all you're doing is planning the future all the time and that's all I was doing every day was planning and thinking about the future and not living in the moment he's always getting ready to get ready and so it's like just do it just do, just do it baby come on, just do it, baby. Come on so I started doing it and life changed dramatically who's that it's you I'm sorry Close. Right, we better wrap this up. So, no, but think about quotes. Um, you know, maybe do a search and see if there's anything that. What is your favorite quote? And find one, and then go in that direction. But also, let us know what the quote is. What is your favorite quote? 
Right, we're going to go. It's Saturday night. Oh, stop showing oh my off. Gosh. I'm not showing off. It's not showing off okay, your product. Put the gun away. You it's guys, dangerous. This is right. happening. Stop. stop we're right. 13 days stop. in. Stop. Stop. Okay, we're going to go. Days in. It's five minutes. I'll see you later. <laughs>